गुड इवनिंग सर माई नेम इज़ रोहित रैना सर बेसिकली आई एम हिंदू एंड आई जस्ट रिसेंटली कन्वर्टेड टू इस्लाम एंड नॉट ओनली बिकॉज के आई एम इन लव विद मुस्लिम गर्ल नॉट ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल दो थिंग बिकॉज आई एक्सेप्ट इस्लाम फ्राम माई बॉटम ऑफ हार्ट एंड आई टेल यू फ्रेंकली आई डोंट नो अबाउट अरबिक आई डोंट नो अबाउट उर्दू फ्रॉम द वेरी इनिशियली एंड आई डोंट नो अबाउट द संस्कृत ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई एम फ्राम द हिंदू बैकग्राउंड नो आई वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट इस्लाम नॉट ओनली बिकॉज कि आई एम गोइंग टू बी मैरिड आई मुस्लिम गर्ल एंड वाई द कंट्रोवर्सीज आर देयर सो मच इन द नेचर दैट पीपल आर क्रिएटिंग नॉट गॉड इज क्रिएटिंग दैट कंट्रोवर्सी एंड नॉट गॉड इज नॉट गिविंग द मैसेज टू पीपल दैट डू ऑल दोज इफ ए नॉन मुस्लिम मैरी ए हिंदू मुस्लिम गर्ल एंड इफ ए नॉन मुस्लिम Hindu marry a Muslim girl. So why the controversies are there? And if I accept Islam, then there is no problem in their family also. So why there there must be a lot of uh, controversies? So please explain me. So that was the question that Alhamdulillah accepted Islam recently, and you are in love with a Muslim girl. But that was not the main reason he accepted Islam at the bottom of the heart. He says he doesn't understand Arabic. He doesn't know Sanskrit. Whether it's not compulsory that you should know Arabic to go to Jannah, it's not compulsory. But uh, at present, I am translating uh, English Arabic. Whether, as I said, it's not compulsory for a person to know Arabic as a language to go to Jannah. I said, if you know Arabic, you can understand the Quran the best. If you don't know Arabic, read the Quran in the language you understand the best. If you know English, read the English translation of the Quran. If you know Hindi, read the Hindi translation of the Quran. What you have to do is minimum what is required for your salah. Salah is one of the important pillars of Islam. What is required for salah? That much at least you should memorize. Because when you worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in your salah, you have to say in the original word. If you translate, the translation may be wrong. So besides this, knowing is not compulsory, but read the translation of the Quran in the language you understand the best. As far as the main question is concerned, that why this controversy? You have accepted Islam, so what the controversy? As far as the Muslims are concerned, there is no controversy. No, I am not telling about the Muslim controversy. I am telling about the Hindu. Hindu controversy. controversy. Why? Why I am saying? Because the Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number two twenty one, it says that do not marry an idol worshipper until he believes. A believing man, even if he is a bondsman, even if he is a slave. He is far better than an idol worshipper, even if he allows you. And the same is vice versa for the girl and for the boy. The reason is that when, if you have a vehicle, and one tire is of the bicycle, and the other of the truck, how will the vehicle run? But natural, all the tires should be similar. And but natural, any good, pious girl would want that the husband also goes to Jannah, go to paradise. So if she has found the way to paradise, that acquire peace by submitting her will to Almighty God. That's what she may have requested you, and that is the reason you accepted Islam. As far as the Hindus are concerned, you have to show them my video cassette. Similarities between Islam and Hinduism. What I tell them, you know, people talk about interfaith. I tell them, at least agree. I tell the non-Muslims, you know, I don't believe in interfaith dialogue. That Islam is the same religion as Hinduism, as Christianity, all are same. I don't agree with that. I, being a student of comparative religion, I know the differences. What I tell them, at least agree that one book is 100% the word of God. So the Christian will say, I don't mind agreeing that Bible is 100% the word of God. The Hindu will say, I don't mind believing Veda to be the word of God. The Muslim will say, I don't mind agreeing that Quran is the word of God. So I tell them. That whatever is common in all these scriptures, let us agree to follow 100%. What is different, what is contradictory, we can discuss tomorrow. At least what is common, let us agree to follow 100%. And when we read these scriptures, all these scriptures say that there is only one God. All these scriptures say Almighty God has got no images, He has got no idol, He has got no statue. So let us all of us agree to believe and worship one God who has got no image. Who has got no idol? All these scriptures, whether the Vedas, whether the Bible, whether the Quran, they say that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
Even if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto ye, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that ye shall he speak. He shall show you things to come. Now here, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is telling that I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot grasp my message. He, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The scriptures of all the major world religions, Hinduism, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, all of them say there's one God, you have to worship him alone, and the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if all the religious people read the scriptures, inshallah, this conflict would be solved, and all of them would acquire peace by submitting their will to Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. Yeah.